I'm... Take off the ribbon. Sorry if I'm wasting your time. Drop an item or I something that'll give me a hint. It. Ribbons. Yes. Faith War 1 too. Thank you, Bigby, for noticing this. Like I was it? getting so mad. Oh, she's hitting at mm -hmm. something. Do you? I'm trying to help. It's, it's beautiful. It was... It is beautiful. It's beautiful. That's why you can't tell me it's anything. Okay. It's a ribbon, isn't it? Thank you! I'm glad I'm not the only one to figure that out. Well, I mean, you know, I'm glad Bigby isn't stupid. <laughs> Although I noticed that a long time. And I didn't read that off of anything, by the way. I'm just, I'm, I'm assuming it's the ribbons that, like, have something to do with the spell. I don't know if it's a way to break the spell, remove ribbon. Let's just try it. You mind if I just... I'm just gonna explode. No, these lips are sealed. What? You can't. Just stay back. I wonder if the, the ribbon has can't something to do with like do memory that. erasing spells Slow too. Slow down. It's all right. She doesn't want to remember. Not gonna do anything. The slaughtering of her friends. Maybe. Please. Maybe they're slaughtering Don't. each other. <sighs> well, I tried. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons. If you take them off, you die. Maybe it cuts their throat. I'll fix this. Let's come for here. Hmm, maybe it beheads you if you take it off. Because Lily, both Lily and Faith, they were beheaded. If and the ribbon is around the neck. Came here. Okay. Probably snow. Keep your... No, don't say it's probably Listen, snow. Sheriff, it's probably Bluebeard. Can you keep this conversation the between us? I... I could be in a lot of... Trouble. What are, are you worried, worried about? Just please don't I say anything. won't because you didn't give me shit all for information. Oh, we should wake a new suit. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. Is Bluebeard being a dickhead and taking over I might now? I have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They uh -oh. said they wanted to talk to you about something. Uh -oh. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Why would you say this? Listen, Sheriff, you should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Hey, wait, you don't have to go. Well, that was a hint. That's Beauty and the Beast murdering everybody. That was... Uh, abrupt? Uh, one way to send a message. I feel like she's gonna tell the... Um, what did she uh, tell you? Who's the, who's the bar manager guy? The pimp. Did you get anything from her? Magic keeps her from she couldn't talking. Couldn't really say anything. She might have. She the might have to tell. Was talking about. Oh, uh, what's the guy's it's name? In the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off. No. Or it's how Faith and Lily died. Oh. Okay. So. Oh, okay, I'm just assuming that. Good work. So mm. about Beauty and Beast. Beauty Do you think there's and something the to beast. it. Is this the right place to look? Oh. What could they know about the crooked man? Beauty or do you think they from? just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on. Let's see on. if he brings up That's that this is kind of suspicious. Doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she okay, could. Okay, he doesn't realize that it could very well be a trap. I would be suspicious. Because hmm. why? What reason do we have you to know, trust Beauty Marissa? You came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Hmm. Picky, Perhaps you guys should get some kind of service for that. You don't think she meant that she was going then. to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. Yeah. We need to solve this before something else happens. I think it would be more like someone Who like Bluebeard, what? though. Five. Oh, it's like five. What's special about five? But then I really I just have four, other matters to attend to. Okay, secret person that actually isn't Snow and is just someone else glamoured. I guess I really could, like, we don't, do we know for sure? Maybe it was Snow that actually died in the first episode, like, he was whispering. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. With good reason. Is Look what happened. Here? So that's back on me. Oh, great. Well, oh, you can ship run in this game, that's funny. That doesn't mean I have to um, agree to it. knock door, no, I'm not gonna going open. To tell me? Are, you... are we gonna keep that a secret, too? There, I finish his line for him. Because he was incompetent oh. and unable to do it. What do you want? Oh, what? Oh. Oh, does he have well, specials on his face? Ooh, I, you're just oh, is this going around fight? knocking on doors? Expecting someone? Stirring the pot. You called, right? Stirring. Or, uh, <laughs> was it beauty? 
Why would I call you? Imagine if he had the ribbon on his neck Listen, now. <laughs> I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? Why is he I mad really at me? I don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to Good talk Lord. to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. Good She's Lord. Been surprising me a lot lately. Just because, like, you fought uh, me. So it's not like I you started a fight. Me. Get over it. Sneaking around and secrets. Somehow I'm still the bad guy. In this. I'm not the bad guy. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who is it? Who do you Who's think? There? You don't want to reading. talk. Can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn oh my, my god. Back? Seriously? I was sure if he was closing it's the door to unlock it. Big B. <laughs> or it'll Hi, be baby. a dick. Please excuse us for Probably just both. a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's play. Alright, let's steal all the things. Holy crap, look at this nice Victorian era. Okay, I don't have a mouse, so I can't do anything mm. here. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. This is a nice apartment. What is he doing here? Look at the ring. <laughs> yep, it's an urn. Don't knock it over. Not after the way he went behind my back. Why would you knock on it like that? Run and call him again. Well, I trust him. Talk about living in the past. for you. It was one little thing. One little secret. Fighting about that, or do you? Why are you knocking on everything? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. Yes, this is indeed a shelf. And answers. That's why I called. Finish this later. Right, is she gonna but come out? Need to talk to Big B. I, I just kind of want us to knock on the door. She said she would be right back. They done. Now they're just gonna stand there until. Oh, okay. Never mind. She comes out. Great. That'd be kind of a dick move to knock on the Sorry, door. Why there scratch marks on the night. wallpaper? Yeah, you know what they say. Actually, I don't want to answer Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I oh, say, that's saying. Your place. It looks, uh, expensive. Little what do you bit. mean by that? A no, like it costs really, a I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Well, you don't have to say it like that. Is I was just downgrading. Is loan you took out from the crooked man? <laughs> the crooked man? I didn't man. know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just to trying to do Don't what's best for us. Kind of trouble you That's in? all I yeah, ever let's go do. with that one. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money or it's something else. Like marriage counseling. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us. Oh, that just means you die. We'd be risking a lot. Can we just combine We've our forces and become Captain Power or something? And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain uh, assurances. Yeah, you think you're the only ones in danger. If you danger have info on that crooked it. bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. Mm-hmm. No, girl, sass. Don't. Sass girl. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle like okay? living in a castle we couldn't just give that up we never meant for it to get like this it's just that we had nowhere else to turn and we got in over our heads there's not a lot of work out there who would we be <laughs> if we just lived like um or my girl that 80s phone though i didn't realize this game actually takes place in like the 80s though and i didn't realize that for a while but yeah it takes Hi place in like the 80s you've reached beauty uh oh and we're out doing Fabulous. Um, let me that just, uh, is terrible. A day at the beach? Skiing Stop the slopes? <laughs> hey, and we can't we're come not to done the phone right now. I should so leave a message at the beep and we'll get nope. back to you as soon as <laughs> <laughs> humanly possible. That was the worst. Beep. No. No. That fucking message. I'm going to come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by That's now. blue- no, so is it Bluebeard? Out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you- That sounds like Bluebeard. This. Who is that? It's Bluebeard. The Crooked Man's gonna get his, one way or another. I don't think it's the Crooked Man, is it? 
That sounds like Bluebeard. Is a crooked is a crooked man Bluebeard the same person? Maybe the blue or maybe maybe the All Bluebeard. All I care about is how the can I find the guys? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Aww. They know what the lucky happen. pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. P pretend so to get a loan. I needed money. Who is that's Jersey? That's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Who gets oh, she's not gonna know that. Shop anyway. What's really going on at this place? The crooked yeah, man knows know. what people oh. need to get by, so he provides. With a little bit Besides, of peepees. It didn't seem like such a bad oh, deal. Pee -pee. When Jersey Devil was explaining. Who the heck is Jersey Devil? I can see now cool that name, it was though. a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. Hmm. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's uh, ash last did night. Indeed. Tried to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if oh, you go there, sort some things out. Nah, it's not I guess I'll work. go check out the Lucky Pawn. Eh. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in no, trouble. No, 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 not necessarily. And if a lot of people go to the pawn shop, then why would why would the Crooked Man assume that Beauty has something you know to do that with it? Butcher shop, the cut above. The butcher. It's the place on Tubman Street, same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The oh. thing is, it's for the crooked man. In Aunt Greenleaf's house, and we saw a I thing from the butcher. Maybe he delivered it. In the packages. <laughs> you gotta understand. I need Maybe it work. is meat. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the crooked man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. Mm. It never seems to be heading to the same place. Anti Greenleaf probably. And this is probably him How delivering Anti Greenleaf. How did you get then. involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration <laughs> Johan. unit. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. It's Mary you deal with. Bloody Mary is there. No, Bloody Johan Mary is the one who hands over the packages. You know. Uh, Bloody Mary probably finds him then. This is a school, by the way. You know, I, I try to avoid her, but I don't need to tell you what she's. You're like. damn right, you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. So mad. Mary works out of there. I need to look into it. I don't understand why you're so mad, Bigby. It's not just like you just got shot multiple times. Her Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. Yeah, None like all the scrapes in the wallpaper. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. I do. Fuck off. Probably not. No. Probably not. I'm used to living in the forests and eating pigs so, where and are you little going? girls. That's if this really all goes weird. sideways. I'd like to know where it's coming from. I don't know. What do we do now? Let's go murder Bloody Mary and then murder... Oh, <laughs> uh, no! I think the lucky pawn... There's gonna be, like... They're gonna be under disguise there, though. They're gonna be like... Welcome to the Lucky Pawn. We don't hand out sketchy money. <laughs> and if we go to the butcher, that's just where um, uh, Beast works. So and we're not gonna find Bloody Mary there, though. We could see what's in the packages, though. Uh, let's go to the butcher shop. I, I think. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. I think it's kind of. You know, no. baby. Once you show up there, word is gonna spread. That's fine. And maybe nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Oh no. Well, I guess I'll find out. I don't. Hmm. 
Because if we go to Lucky Pond, they could just say, what you're planning wait, to they're do not going to find tell me anything. But is there any way you could help us out? I was offering to help me out for a second there, like beat him up or something. Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you I'll help us it. out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Woo! Oh, thank you, Big B. Oh, that I'm music sure in the background. You'll do the right thing. Episode five, five is gonna totally end with us fighting like beside the witching well and the crooked man or the Bloody Mary or both end up falling down the witching well, and it'll just be fantastic. I would like to order some uh, meat. Zero fucks given. Smoke anyways. Uh, let's stop smoking. We got we gotta pretend like we actually care. We gotta give him a false sense of security. Hi, I would like to get some meats, please. I love New York City. Nope, totally not ringing that bell. That's silly. Uh, cold drinks. Wow, there's so many. Much drink. Such glug glug. Welp, lemon lime. Bacon. Oh no, Colin's totally gotten eaten here. Huh, empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Hmm. Right. Or both at the exact same time somehow. Don't even ask. <laughs> Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Uh, I feel like there's an answer to that question, but I don't know what it is. Examine package. <gasps> Bet that's what Beast was talking uh, about. This is a bad idea. Hmm. With Tully Bait. That logo looks familiar. I've seen that this does look familiar. at the Tweedles. Do we? Oh, no. Hello, Mr. Sir. Big B Wolf? No. <laughs> hey, well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Yes, a cut of that box. Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's uh, Some let's see what we got. Silver bullet gun on me. Flank steak on special. Watching your hands, buddy. Strip. Uh, well, Watching I can have hands. some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin, uh, ribs, roast, tongue. Got some tons. Oh, here. I probably I shouldn't have said the beast. Deliveries. The ones going in and out of here. Well, of course there are deliveries. <laughs> we don't raise the cows in here. Oh, you know what I'm talking about, you silly. He said these packages oh, aren't. I totally just threw well, beast under the bus. What else would they be? I don't know. Let what me was see in the box. That one? Is it empty? I've seen them before. We probably saw it at Auntie Green Leaves too, to be honest. I, Sheriff, I, ears, mouth, and nose. Did you hear that? Oh no! What distraction? Oh, uh oh! I'm really <gasps> sorry. He hit the button. Hold on. I I just gotta go check on that. He hit the Don't freaking anywhere. panic button. I'll be right back. Butcher. I just oh, have no. to go see. Oh no! But oh! <gasps> oh my God! Okay, if I press escape because I want to read the book of fables because I've been forgetting to do that. But the screen flashed and it scared the poop out of me. Okay, so we have two new things here. <clears throat> Silver bowl is a wolf's weakness. Legends of great magical wolves often make mention of their weakness against weapons made of silver. And those tales bear out to be true. Silver bolts Mary shot Bigby uh, with, or it was not the first, but any of them could be his last. Any silver left in Bigby's body weakens his system, slows his healing, and causes long-term damage. Damn! Idge. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, acting, de de I can't, I can't say dep, dep to t. I can't say that word. With Eggwad Crane firmly out of the picture and King Cole still absent, the task of leading Babel Town falls squarely on Snow's shoulders. She has performed many of the job's duties for a long time, picking up the, for the slack of Crane, uh, but now she's fully in charge of the business office and has deal to make with a new level of politicking, and she has not. Pre previously been exposed to. Uh, is life... No, oh, interesting. We just skipped over everything else, it seems. Life on the farm, with its idyllic location and managed community, the farm would seem to be a welcome alternative to ecking out an existence in Fable Town. But those who have lived there see it very differently. See for it is a prison. A place where you are free to be who you are and do not do whatever you please, except leave. 
It doesn't help that the wild fate I can't read. <laughs> that while fables who appear human do not have to worry about being sent to the farm, they always seem to fill leadership roles there. Huh. Holy poopasauruses. Alright. Oh yeah, panic menu, or panic button. <laughs> uh, let's go, this is a bad idea. I realized terrible things are about to happen. You didn't press the button, the bouton. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Shit. Shit pickle, shit pickle, shit pickle, shit pickle. He's totally gone, he's hiding. Everything all blue. But if it was green, he would die. I'll be right out. <laughs> totally. Totally made a trap door on the floor. Hello? Is he leading me to a trap? I forgot to check 